Okay, this time they want to know the charge on capacitor 2 here. And I don't know the voltage across 2, so I'm not going to be able to simply use, you know, Q is equal to CV directly. Instead, what I'm going to do is use the fact that capacitor 2 and capacitor 3 are in series. Notice that the, the one side of capacitor 2 is connected directly to the other side of capacitor 3. So I can rewrite this circuit now. I still have capacitor 1 in here. This is C1. But I can rewrite it combining capacitors 2 and 3. This would be capacitor 2, 3. And I did that by combining these two capacitors in series. So just to remind you that capacitor 2, 3, 1 over capacitance of 2, 3 is just equal to 1 over the capacitance of 2 plus 1 over the capacitance of 3. So this is 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3, 1 over C2, 3. So now I know that this equivalent capacitor, 2, 3, is just equal to 1.5 microfarads. So that's a good start. Notice something else. Capacitor 2-3 is directly connected to my battery in parallel to my battery. So the voltage across 2-3 is going to be 9 volts. So I can get the charge on 2-3 is just going to be equal to C2-3 times V2-3 is equal to 1.5 times 9 or 13 or 13.5 microcoulombs. But that's Q23. The next thing I need to realize is that since the way I made capacitance 23 was by combining C2 and C3 in series, I know that Q2 is equal to Q3 is also equal to Q23. That's why 13.5 is the correct answer for the charge on capacitor 2 as well as the charge on capacitor 3.